Tyson Fury is back at it, this time sending a message to his former opponent, Alexander Usyk. In a recent interview, Fury confidently stated that he plans to knock Usyk out in their upcoming rematch. He seems eager to prove himself and show what he can do. Fury even joked that Usyk took his virginity meaning it in a light-hearted way, but it's clear he's not pleased about their last fight. He's ready to step back into the ring and show everyone what he's capable of against Usyk. Fury is determined not to lose this time. He's made it clear that he won't let the last fight repeat itself. Some might think he's lost his strength, but Fury insists that's not true. He believes people are mistaken if they think he's not ready. Every day he focuses on how to take Usyk down and has been dedicated to his training for the rematch. It's obvious that Fury is still upset about their previous fight. Fury is unhappy with how the judges ruled their last fight, feeling he didn't get the fair win he deserved. He was really upset after his match against Usyk and claimed that Usyk only won because the judges and referee were on his side. Fury thinks the conflict between Russia and Ukraine influenced how people saw the fight, believing that sympathy for Ukraine affected the judges' decisions. During the match, Fury felt that everyone, including the judges and the referee, was favoring Usyk. He believes they made fun of him by not giving him a fair chance. Fury thinks he fought better and deserved to win, but because of the circumstances, the match didn't go his way. Fury really wants to believe he was the winner of that match, but is that the case? Everyone has their own opinions and Fury certainly has his. However, what actually happened in the fight is what truly matters. Both Fury and Usyk started strong with their jabs, but Usyk controlled the pace. He landed better punches, especially in the first two rounds. In round one, Usyk caught Fury with a looping left hook, and in round two, he came out strong with a solid two-punch combination. In the third round, Usyk kept moving forward. Fury began to find his rhythm, throwing more combinations and landing solid body shots. Even while fighting on the back foot, he stayed active with his jab. In the fourth round, he set up a powerful right uppercut and landed a hard right to Usyk's body, putting pressure on him. As the fight moved into the sixth round, Fury landed a big right uppercut that stunned Usyk. It was clear that Usyk felt the punch and covered up for a moment. This gave Fury confidence and he started bouncing on his feet, looking more relaxed. He even began taunting Usyk while throwing sharp jabs. Fury was now in a groove, showing he wasn't just on the defense anymore. With those strong punches and taunts, he was trying to take control of the fight, proving he still had it. There was plenty of fight left in Fury. In the seventh round, he landed another strong right uppercut that pushed Usyk back, but Usyk didn't give up. He responded with a straight right hand and finished the round by throwing a quick combination of punches. Even though Fury was landing some big shots, Usyk kept coming forward in the eighth round. Usyk showed how tough he was by hitting Fury with a three-punch combination that forced him back into the ropes. He didn't stop there Usyk landed a big overhand left that caught Fury off guard, making him step back again. As the round came to a close, Usyk landed another hard two-punch combination, with a looping right hand connecting and clearly hurting Fury. Swelling began to appear under Fury's right eye, showing the impact of Usyk's punches. In round nine, Usyk came out strong, looking energized. He started pushing Fury back again and landed a big punch. Usyk landed a powerful left hand while Fury was trapped against the ropes, clearly taking control of the fight. Then Usyk landed another big left hand that put Fury in serious trouble. Fury looked shaken, and Usyk saw his chance to finish the fight. He threw several punches. Usyk hit Fury with hard punches and quick combinations. Fury was clearly hurt and started to wobble as he leaned against the ropes. Just as the round was about to end, the referee stepped in and called it a knockdown as Fury staggered. It was a tough moment for Fury, and Usyk's attack had made a big impact as they headed into the final rounds. At the start of round 10, Usyk pushed Fury back into the corner. Fury looked like he was still feeling the effects of the last round, but Usyk didn't rush in. Instead, he stayed calm, waiting for the right moment to strike. In round 11, Usyk came out more aggressive, not giving Fury any space to recover. He kept moving forward and putting pressure on Fury with his punches. At one point, Usyk landed a solid left hand right on Fury's chin, showing he was still in control of the fight. As the round was about to end, Usyk finished strong with a big right hand. Fury managed to stay on his feet, but it was clear that Usyk was gaining more control as the fight went on. Even professional fighters agree that Usyk rightfully won the fight.
Many believe that Fury just can't accept losing his undefeated status, and, instead of accepting it, he's blaming others. Make excuses for his defeat. It's hard to accept, but the evidence is clear. Yusik heard what Fury had to say, but instead of getting upset, Yusik responded with humor. In a video posted on social media, he jokingly called Fury his fat friend, while presenting the president of Ukraine with a championship belt. Yusik's light-hearted joke went something like this, this is the belt I took from my fat friend. London. We worked hard for a long time to get it, and we wanted to stay with you. His playful words not only teased Fury but also showed that Yusik is confident and proud of his victory. Fury has raised some eyebrows by revealing that he hasn't started training for his rematch with Yusik, which is set for December 21st. With less than three months to go, fans and experts are worried about his lack of preparation. Preparation. Many expected him to be working hard already, especially with the fight so close. When asked about his training, Fury surprised everyone by admitting that he hasn't started yet. He said, I haven't started training yet, I won't go into camp for a good while. It was unexpected to hear such a relaxed response for such a big fight. Fury explained that he still has time and plans to start training in about six weeks. This might seem late to many, but Fury appears confident that he can get ready quickly. Whether this will work in his favor or not, we'll just have to wait and see how things unfold. In contrast to Fury, Yusik is already back in training and seems fully focused on their upcoming rematch. He recently shared a photo on Instagram of himself working hard in the gym, proudly captioning it X2 Undisputed to remind everyone that he is a two-time champion. He's also keeping fit by participating in fun activities earlier this month. He took part in a charity water bike race in Moniker. This event not only helped him stay in shape but also showed his commitment to helping others. As the fight between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk approaches, many fans are wondering what will happen in the ring. Fury has promised to destroy Usyk this time, but will that really happen? Will Fury's confidence help him knock out Usyk, or will Usyk's hard work and determination lead him to victory again? Please share your thoughts below.